Hello and welcome to this video on the area and circumference of a circle. So we've got a circle here and just to name some of the parts of the circle, the line that goes from the centre of the circle to the edge of the circle is known as the radius. And if we had a line from one end of the circle to the other, that is known as the diameter of the circle. And the edge of the circle is known as the circumference. And the length of the circumference, that would be the perimeter of the circle. Now let's just say we want to define the length of the circumference. How many times bigger might you think the circumference of the circle is than that line here? Well, this line here, if we kind of went one lot around, that might be from here up to here. Then we went another sort of diameter around, it'd be here, and then another lot. It seems to be roughly three. And in fact, we have this special number called pi, which you can get on your calculator. It's at the bottom, you can see it in gold above the key. If you do shift, and then press that key there where you can see the pi, and press equals, and press the SD key here, to convert it to a decimal, we can see it has the value of 3.141596, etc, etc. So pi is equal to 3.141, etc, etc. And the digits go on forever. So pi is basically how many times bigger the perimeter of the circle is, the circumference, than the diameter. So we need to go three and a bit lots of the diameter around the circle to do one full rotation around the circle. Now if we just use d to represent diameter, we could write that as pi d. That means pi times the diameter. And because the diameter is twice as long as the radius of the circle, we've got a second formula, which is 2 pi r. So I've just replaced the d with 2r, and that gives us 2 pi r. And that just means you're multiplying those together. It's 2 times pi, where pi is a special value of 3.14, etc., times the radius of the circle. So if we had a circle here of radius, say, 4 centimetres, then the circumference, i.e. the perimeter of the circle, would be equal to, well, we've got the radius rather than the diameter, so we're going to use this formula here. It's going to be 2 times by pi times by the radius of the circle, which is 4. And if we do that in our calculator, 2 times pi, we can get by using shift and this button at the bottom of the calculator, times by 4. Now, the calculator would just say 8 pi. It's just trying to simplify your answer. And 8 pi is itself the circumference of a circle, but we might want it as a decimal. So we just press the SD key and it's telling us that the circumference, the perimeter of the circle, is 25.1 centimetres. And I've just rounded it to one decimal place. Now what about the area of the circle? Well the area is equal to pi times the radius squared. So that's our second formula. And our first form, the circumference up here, if I put a box around it to show that it's really important. And notice, by the way, by bidmus, the squared comes first before we times by pi. So it's the radius squared, and then you times it by pi. It's not pi times the radius, and then square it, because that would give you a different value. So let's do it for this example. The area is going to be pi times by the radius squared, so 4 squared. So if I do that pi times the radius squared, 4 squared, and that gives me 16 pi. Well, yes, because 4 squared is 16, and 16 times pi is 16 pi. But we want it as a decimal, so we press the SD key, and we get 50.3 centimetres squared. So those are two key formulas. The circumference of the circle using either the diameter or the radius, and the area of the circle, which is pi times the radius of the circle squared. So let's use those formulae for these various problems we have here. We've initially got this circle of radius 3 centimetres. We first want to find the circumference. So the circumference, I'm just going to use C for circumference. Well, that was pi times the diameter, or 2 times pi times the radius. So we've got the radius, we're going to use that one. 2 times pi times the radius of 3. And when we put that on our calculator, well, that will simplify to 6 pi, but... 2 times pi times 3, but we press the SD key if we want it as a decimal, which is 18.8 to one decimal place, and that would be in centimetres. And if we want the area, that was pi times the radius squared, so pi times 3 squared. Let's do that on our calculator. It says 9 pi, but we press the SD key, and it gives us 
0.3 centimetres squared, noting its uh, area, so we have centimetres squared. And by the way, the way I remember which way round the two formulae go is that when we have a unit of area, it has a squared in it. And just like the formula here for area, it has r squared. It's pi times r squared. So I just remember where the unit has a squared, so the formula also has a squared. What about this second one? We've got another circle. This time, we're given the diameter 10 metres. So the circumference, we, we could use pi times the diameter, so just pi times 10, but it might just be easier just to remember the 2 pi r formula. So the circumference is 2 times pi times the radius. Well, the radius is half of 10, which is 5. We put that into our calculator. It's 10 pi, press the SD key. It's 31.4 metres. And the area... That's going to be pi r squared, so it's pi times the radius squared. The radius is half of the diameter, so it's 5 metres, so pi times 5 squared. And we do that, it gives us 78.5 metres squared. Now this third one is a bit more difficult because we've, got, we've now got a semicircle. A semicircle is half a circle. So we first want to find the perimeter. And notice, by the way, I described it as the perimeter rather than the circumference of the circle, because the circumference of the circle is just the length of a full circle. We don't have a full circle. And also, notice that the perimeter also includes this straight edge here, so we're going to have to add that on for our perimeter. So let's try and find the length of this curved edge first. That's half a circle. So we can use the usual formula. The perimeter is going to be, well, if we use 2 pi r for the circumference of a full circle, so that would be 2 times pi times the radius. Well, can you see the distance from the center of the circle to the edge, that's half of that 12, which is six. So it's two times pi times six. But the thing is that that would give us the circumference of a full circle. We only want half the circle, this half here. So we can divide it by two. And then, well, that gives us the length of this curved edge, but we also want this edge at the bottom. So we just need to at 12. And let's put that all in the calculator. We might have done this in bits. So we might have first found 2 times pi times 6 and found out what that is. Then we divided by 2 and found out what that is. And then we finally add by 12. But I've just done it all in one go. So if I put that in my calculator, that gives me 20.8 and it's in centimetres. What about the area? Well, the area is going to be half of a full circle. So it's going to be pi times r squared first, so pi times the radius of 6 squared. But we only want half of the area of a full circle, so we divide that by 2. So we put that into our calculator. That gives us 56.5 centimetres squared. What about this fourth one here? We've now got a quarter circle. Well, we can see this, the distance from the centre of the circle to the edge of the circle, the circumference, well, that is 7, and that will also be 7 as well, because that's also the radius of the circle. So let's find the perimeter first, and it's asked me to give in terms of pi. So we don't want to give it as a decimal this time, we want to leave pi in our answer. So let's find the perimeter. The perimeter is going to be, well, if we find the circumference of a full circle, we can use 2 pi r, so 2 times pi times the radius, which is 7. But we only want a quarter of the full circle, so we're going to divide it by 4. And then, well, we want to add on the straight edges, because we've got that curved edge, but the perimeter also includes that 7 and that 7, so we've got an extra 14. And then I just need to simplify this. So we've got 2 times pi times 7. Well, the 2 times the 7 is 14, so we've got 14 and then we're times it by pi, so it's 14 pi, but we're dividing by 4. And then just simplify again. Well, 14 divided by 4 is 3.5, so it's 3.5 pi plus 14. And there we go. We've managed to leave pi in our answer, so it's an expression in terms of pi. And we could always press the SD key to convert to decimal, but that's not what it wants. And what about the area? That's slightly easier. The area is going to be pi radius squared, so pi times 7 squared, divided by 4, because we only got a quarter of a circle. And if we simplify that, we just get 49 pi over 4. And we can leave it like that. We can leave it as a fraction. We could divide 49 by 4 to get a decimal. But it's nicer to have an expression which doesn't have a decimal. Now we've got this final problem here. 
We've got Graham the goat is tethered to a post by a rope. So that's a very badly drawn goat. He can graze over a region of 100 metres squared. What is the perimeter of this region? So if you think the goat is tied to this point here, and if he's attached this rope, which is some length we don't know, and if he was allowed to move wherever he likes, but limited by the length of that rope, we can see that he's going to graze over a circular area. And the area, we're told, is 100 metres squared. So let's first try and find the radius. We'll call it R, R for radius, and let's try and work out what the radius is. So we know the area of a circle is pi R squared. So pi times the radius squared is equal to 100, because we're told it's 100. Now we need to make R the subject. We need to solve for R. So note that R is first being squared, then we times it by pi. So we want to divide both sides by pi first, because that was the last thing we did to the R. It would be wrong to square root both sides, because R was squared first, then you times it by pi, so you want to undo that times by pi first. So we get R squared is equal to 100 divided by pi. We could write 100 over pi. And then to get rid of that squared, we square root both sides. So it's the square root of 100 over pi. And let's put that in our calculator. So square root of 100 over pi, which is 5.642. And then we want to find the perimeter of this region. So the circumference of this circle. So the circumference or the perimeter P is equal to, well, 2 pi r. So 2 times pi times that 5.642. And we can use the answer key on our calculator to actually use that exact answer. So we do 2 times pi times by answer key, 5.642 and that will give us a perimeter of 35.4 metres.